practical on QGIS classify vector data on categorized based, graduated based and rule based. Go to QGIS, click add vector layer from here or go to layer and then go to add vector layer. Both are same. Click on browse button, browse the shape file. I have shape files on desktop map and click on the shp that is shape file you can see the type shp file don't click other click on that and click on open click on open so this is how map is of australia double click on map go to style the default option is single symbol you can change it to categorized based click on categorize select any color like this click on classify button if you don't classify uh, if you don't click on this classify button it won't apply on your map it won't change the color so classify and the symbol means the color and value to that symbol respected symbol and its label so it has so many values and labels and its respective symbol that is color click on apply see how many uh, categorized the polygon is categorized in many simple single uh, sub polygons click on ok and now you can see the color has changed so this is the categorized page which categorizes it in number of values or IDs or labels depending upon the its attribute value or data set this is the data set double click on the same layer change it to graduated based change the color like orange click on classify so it will classify it in graduated means uh, from one value to second value like in between so from 5, 7, 6 and so on to 4, 59 and all, so on. So it will uh, group it in short. It will group it between these values. So click on apply. Click on OK. So this is how it will look. And the last one is rule based click on rule based in this you have to specify some rules based on your attribute table before going to rule based click on uh, right click on the layer go to open attribute table so this is the attribute table you have to see where is the values and where is just text and these are the text that is its uh, region name or some names assigned to some area of polygon and these are the values like code and these are the actual value or the polygons value see so it so this indicates that this area is belonging to New South Wales this area belong to Victoria and this Queensland South Australia Western Australia and so on so select any one copy it means uh, go to this edit tab toggle editing mode then double click it copy ctrl C 
and then again click on this click on save click on uh, just close it double click select rule based double click label will be anything abc filter it go to fields and value albers sqm is greater than paste the value click on ok ok and apply and then say ok it will select the whole value have some more rules depending upon more rules it will create uh, means it will select different colors and all click on add rule xyz have symbol like this or this something click on code okay which is any operator take any operator no no select or i'll buzz this select ok ok apply ok so it will change it change the direction apply ok the code is wrong so just remove it test ok ok apply ok see some areas are changed let me zoom it this is changed this and this so this is how to use rule based so we have seen categorized based graduated based and rule based that's it thank you